so uh, another bathroom uh, to do uh, this one has quite a few features in it it's gonna have um, a lot of different elements as far as tile size and layout uh, so I start uh, with this one by installing the pre slope uh, the first thing you need to do in a shower like this is actually uh, because we have a three-piece drain here and we go, we're going to have vinyl uh, liner or coral oil liner uh, we need to install the pre slope uh, I'm not gonna give all the details of how to install the pre slope here uh, I have actually several videos uh, on my channel in the how-to section that um, describes how to install a pre-slope in detail, uh, how the three-piece drain works, and a bunch of other stuff relating to tile. So um, if you want more details, uh, please visit my channel and uh, watch those videos. Um, but anyway, uh, just to start, uh, I'll get some basics. The, uh, the uh, felt paper or tar paper, that I'll, or roofing paper that I'm installing here is to isolate the mud from the plywood uh, and uh, then I'm going to put some wild lab on top of that which I'm going to show you next. Once you have your felt paper uh, down, uh, then it's time to install some wire lad. Um, and the reason for the lad is to uh, reinforce and stabilize uh, the mud. And um, and so that's just uh, installed on the on the floor over the felt paper and stapled down to the uh, floor. And that's really all there is to it. There's really uh, nothing else to it. Just cut it to size. Uh, cut the hole for the drain and then uh, install your wire lad and staple it down. Okay, so you want to have a slope about a quarter inch per foot. This is an inch and a half here. This is half inch, three quarters. The level's like that. And then when I raise that to level, I get about an inch under there. So it's about two feet, quarter inch per foot. That would be half inch, three quarters. Like I said, I'm not going to go through all the elements of uh, installing this pre slope, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. Uh, so I've got, like I said, a bunch of other videos that show how to do this, so I'm not going to repeat it here. Um, but basically, what, what I'm going to be doing is going to be, I'm going to be creating a uh, level perimeter at the uh, height that will give me uh, a slope of a quarter inch per foot or more to the drain and then I'm going to fill down uh, with mud to the drain and uh, that's really all there is to it and the um, top part of the, uh, the, the, the pre-slope doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered by the pan liner and then it's going to be covered by um, an, another layer of mud for the tile so uh, you just need to get a positive pitch to the drain but you don't have to have a perfectly uh, smooth uh, mud, mud, mud job there <coughs> because uh, it's all going to be covered anyway. I always try and get it as good as possible but it doesn't have to be because it's all going to be covered.
that's it. The, the uh, pre-slope I installed the pan liner and uh, the board and then the uh, shower mud floor on top of that. I don't show that here, uh, but like I said earlier, I have a bunch of videos that do show how to do that. And if I would do that here, then this video would be uh, three hours long. And I don't want that. 